Palu Family The life of the Palu family begins to change when Father Harun is released from prison. Because he testified at the police station after learning from his wife that his daughter Maryam and granddaughter Milaik were killed. In line with these explanations, the statements of the grandmother and other family members were consulted. And all family members confirmed that Maryam and Milaik were killed. However, no action could be taken against the suspects as there was no evidence, corpse, or cemetery. While the events are being talked about in the series, a witness is connected to the program live. And he states that he saw the murdered Maryam tied to a tree. He asks Tunker why he behaved like this. In response, he says that they tied Maryam to the tree because she was grounded. The witness intervenes and causes Maryam to disperse. That same night, Tunker asks the witness for a pick, a shovel, and an axe. It gives witnesses. Tunker returns the pickaxe, shovel, and axe the next day, very well cleaned. While these events are being talked about in the series, another event about Tunker emerges. Well, Tunker and his family applied to the police on the grounds that their children were kidnapped. A short time later, they receive news from the police station that they have children. They go to the police station to pick up their children. But something happens. During the health checkup, it was noticed that Tunker's child had an injector in his stomach and hip. Then the statement of the family is taken. However, the family says their child has been abducted and may have been the abductors. Since all these events took place in different cities, the possibility of merging the files is unthinkable. Witnesses and police in the program accept the events as reports and initiate an investigation, and when all the files are combined, the following situation emerges. Tunker is an unemployed, penniless man. He wants to use the financial situation of his wife's family. On top of that, he makes the Palu family dependent on him, sometimes with fear, sometimes with violence, sometimes with suspicion. First of all, it provides the sale of a four-story building. Mariam, whom he killed to buy a car, uses a loan. Not content with money anymore, Tunker also resorts to physical and sexual violence. And as a result, he kills Mariam and Milaik and shares this situation with other family members. As a result, Tunker, grandmother Hava, brothers Isa and Fadi, sister Amin are serving sentences for many crimes such as willful manslaughter, aiding and abetting. Milaik's older brother Recep was the luckiest of this family. Since Recep was given to the social services institution, he has a beautiful life now. We wish him and everyone like him the best of luck.